Hi, I'm Leon from No Man's Land Bushcraft and today we're going to make charcoal. Charcoal is a little bit like char cloth. It's uh, charred bunk wood. Um, it is a very nice way to start your fire. You can use it in a bird's nest in combination with a flint and steel. Um, it is um, a more traditional way of making fire than char cloth. Um, because bushmen and people who were in the woods for a long time didn't have any spare cotton um, because they only had the clothes they were wearing and uh, they used bunk wood to make coals to start their fires with their flint and steel set. Let's see how it works. So I got in a little piece of charcoal and my flint and steel set and I will throw little sparks in the direction and hope some will land on the charcoal and start glowing. So you see I now have an ember and I can start my fire. So this is how you use charcoal. I will now collect some bunk wood to create some new charcoal. Okay, here we have a fallen down tree that is uh, very rotten. There's a lot of bunk wood in it, which is wood that's almost gone. This, uh, the, the more rotten it is, the more uh, porous it is, the better charcoal you will get. The, the lighter it is and uh, the easier you will get it to ignite with a little spark. So I will collect some of this in my tin to put it later on the campfire. It's uh, a bit wet, but uh, because we put it in the campfire it's not a problem. It will dry in the fire. I will put in uh, large chunks because then we get larger charcoal and we can always break it up later. Okay, my container is now nice and uh, full. Um, we put a lid on the container, we have put a small hole in here for the gases to escape when it's in the fire. Um, we put it in here because when we close the lid it is watertight and airtight and no um, dust uh, will get in your backpack and if you're uh, in the rain or even underwater it will still uh, keep dry. And you can put the lid on halfway and you can use it to char uh, wood or cloth or any other natural materials for your fire. We're gonna make a fire and uh, put this on. Okay, this is Marcus. He is uh, from the Netherlands, our home country. He's here at Nemoland in Poland to learn some basics uh, of bushcraft from us. Today he learned uh, how to make fire with a bird's nest and uh, charcoal and he's going to de demonstrate it and we're going to use the fire to create our charcoal. Yeah. Oh. You got it? Fold it around it. You got it. Turn it around. Okay, you can uh, put it down. Okay, now you can do yeah. switch. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, we can now put the tin with the bunk wood in the fire to create a charcoal. It will heat up, and when it's hot enough, you will see that there uh, will be smoke escaping from the hole. 
uh, that's a sign that it's charring. When the uh, smoking stops, when there's no sm smoke more escaping from the hole, uh, it's finished. Now we wait. Good work! Okay, as you can see, uh, the smoke has stopped escaping from the hole, so that means our charcoal is finished. I will now take it off the fire, I will close the lid so that no more air can get in and it uh, will not smolder on and ruin the charcoal. And then we wait, let it cool down and uh, check our finished product. I've got some heat resistant gloves, you can also use sticks or something else. The charcoal cannot be overdone, so you can also uh, keep it in the fire and let the fire burn out and it will also work. Okay, the tin is now cooled down, let's see what we have. As you can see, the Bunk wood has turned into charcoal. It's all dry and brittle and very light. So it would should work very well. Let's try it. So this is charcoal. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time.